All right, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Keith Pelzer. I'm actually doing this in response to um, my own video and something that people were asking. And so I sat here and I thought about it. I'm like, there is yet another way to get even deeper and closer to um, doing an ATEM Mini without doing an ATEM, ATEM Mini, ATEM Pro, whatever. Um, I support that. And I think that it has its reason. But for those people that are on a budget and are in Ecamm and you can't afford that extra piece and you want to invest in the cameras, there is an opportunity to do that. And you can do it where actually um, having worked with Blackmagic and ATEM um, and that software for so long, I'm looking at it like, OK, what did I really like about it? And so... Uh, someone in the ECAM community actually asked the question. They said they're doing a live event and they just need to monitor the multiple cameras that they have and they need to be able to see what's going on before they select the camera. And so it is totally possible in ECAM and along with the stream deck, you can do this whole thing. And it's really dope the way ECAM sets it up along with the stream deck. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So now this is raw because with the power Ecamm, you can record straight into your computer like a live production. You can knock out most of your Logic Pro after math and your Final Cut Pro and your Premiere and all of that stuff. You can kind of do it on the fly if you practice and you kind of know what you're doing, you know where your gear is at. And like right now, using the hidden timer feature, I'm able to have these screens flip around and and uh, no, the cameras change. Yes, changing the scenes automatically within a folder. And you can check that out on my other videos. But let's jump right into doing something right here. I think you're going to really like this. OK, so now I'm going to take this little switcher off and I'm going to just go straight to this camera in front of me. Now, what I did was I set up most people that if you know what people do love about the ATEM is the fact that you have this other piece of gear and then you have another monitor and then you can have that monitor up and you can see all of the cameras in your room. You can see all the cameras you got hooked into it. The problem is they're all hooked into the ATEM. Then the ATEM goes into Ecamm. I'm saying this because you're watching because you have Ecamm. Hopefully you have the pro. If not, make sure you click down below and you hit um, my affiliate link because you're feeling it because of me. <laughs> anyway, sidebar, check this out. There are a lot of people that use it. Shout out to my boy, Tom Buck. Tom Buck has been using the ATEM for years. He probably has two or three of them and he uses them well. That's because he's a big time dude and he does multiple stuff and recordings and stuff. But for the low budget person that says, hey, I want to use these functions and I want to buy the cameras and I want to do this. Let's show you how to do that. Now, I want to go to the demo mode and jump right in because this is dope. Now, notice you see me on both sides of the screen. Now, one is my main window and the other one is going to turn into um, the live window while I'm looking at preview. Now, here's the interesting thing. I'm going to come out of demo mode and show you. Matter of fact, let's go back to demo mode. Let's look at my stream deck my stream deck is going to show you something um, real interesting and let me show you what ecamm can do and i'm going to make a stream deck uh camera and so we're going to do a screen share right here and i'm going to put this on to the stream deck so i want to show the stream deck boom so now we show the stream deck i keep saying boom like india my girl india delgado check her out she always says boom I'm going to make this real big so you can see what's going on here. OK, now here's my setup. This is a real simple setup. I have my a6100 camera. OK, and I'm going to show you on my other stream deck what happens. So if I were to hit this, um, the a61 button, you see it there and I hit that. That is this camera right here. OK, now. Um, <laughs> What did I just do? Okay, now we go to the front. If I hit the front camera, that's this one right here. If I hit jib bone, that's going to go to this camera. I'll go back to the front. Now, if I hit room, that's going to go to this camera. Go back to the front. If I hit desk, okay, that's going to go to this. Okay, see my buttons? And then we'll go back to the front. If I hit love cam, that's going to go to that camera. 
go back to the front and if I hit the floater that's going to go to this slide camera which I'm showing my wife's microphone that's why it's all focused on me so back to this front right here if you notice I have these other buttons down here and these other buttons that's dope is I have a button called all cams okay so all cams is a wonderful button because if I were to click on all cams this is the secret sauce you need to know in advance you need to have an ecam live right which is preview mode then you want a delay okay you're going to put a delay here and then you're going to have ecam live run the scene let's go through this real quick and i'll explain it later this is preview mode so what you're going to do is you're going to hit preview mode so that your output is going to um look at this so that your output is going to show what's on the screen. So for example, right now, it's me on the screen, right? It's just me. And so if I go to demo mode, this is what we have here. Now, when I hit preview mode, those of you know what preview mode is, that means that what's going on on the main window, I just hit preview, there's an output. So over there, <laughs> well here on this side but that's an output and so that output is showing what everybody else sees got it now I'm gonna show you the magic this is what happens when I hit this multi-action button that goes to a delay and then it goes to a scene here's the scene that I made up you ready for this here it is I'm gonna go to this and when I hit the button So on this stream deck right here, this is the one that got me in trouble on my live the other day because it was behind here. But long story short, the front that's a, uh, the same as this button, but slightly different. When I hit this button while it's in preview mode, I'm going to hit this button and it's going to go to, right? Notice what just happened here. I hit the front camera and it went back to all of these on this side. And that's because on here, the way I have it set up, it's a multi switch that allows the preview to always stay in the four cameras and the output to be on the one you select. So let's just say I want to select the jib camera. So on my uh, desk, let me see if I hit the desk, this button over here, if I hit the jib button over here it's going to go to the jib it's going to output the jib and then it's going to pop back over and put me back in the multi selector um screen on the left are you following me so let, let's let's do it again i'm gonna go to the desk right so on the desk i'm going to hit this button and so right below it you can see um i know this might be small on your screen but right below you can see on the stream deck how I have these buttons so because I have it over top I'll let you see so on here the way I have them program if I were to hit um, let's say I wanted to do the floater and the floater is the one over there okay once I hit the floater it's going to go to the floater but it pops this back over now the reason why you want the delay is to give it time to put this in here so it doesn't jam it up if it goes too quick it'll output this particular scene but that's real simple. You just need a hundred, a thousand millimeter, um, a thousand <laughs> millisecond delay, which comes um, as a, a default in um, the stream deck when you put the delay in there. And so let's look at the delay. So I'm going to go back to my normal front camera. I'm going to take it out of the demo mode. I mean, the yeah, I'm going to take it out of demo mode and then take it out of the live mode okay so here's what you see let me go back to my front camera so here's my front camera and I'm going to show you right now I'm going to put that overlay back on here um, and here it is screen share so see this right here um, in my all cams we have the preview mode so you want it you want a multi switch and you want to make it go to preview mode then you want to put in the delay and then you want to put in the scene and this particular scene that I have is, let's look at it, 
me pull this up here. That scene is for Cam's scene. Now, notice when I hit that button, it goes right back to on the left side. You notice on your screen over there where you see the full picture, you see me in the room. If I want to be seen up front, I'm just going to hit my front button. OK, it shows the front. And on that scene, of course, I have to take off this, uh, <laughs> the overlay <laughs> that's on there. Um, and so let me go back to live mode. And once I go to live mode, it's going to allow me to take, come on you, it's going to allow me to take off the, the overlay. Okay, boom. So um, there's the, there's the, the front. So I'm going to hit my all cam button. So here it is. So you can see, I'm going to hit this all cam button. When I hit the all cams, and let me put it down here so you can see it on there. Okay. So when I hit the all cam, it automatically, whatever was being output is staying out there. So my desk is still in view and I hit the all cam button. So notice there's all cam and I want to hit my front shot. When I hit my front shot, notice it's going to give me the front over here and then it's going to, so notice up in the four with the four. I'm looking at which one do I want to see. So let's just say we want the one over here with the jib with the light over here. So I'm going to hit the jib bone button. When I hit the jib, it's going to do that. It takes me right back to where I can view all of this. I hope everybody's getting the picture. If this has uh, uh, blessed you in any kind of way and you need further insight, please put some comments down below. Um, subscribe. I hate saying that. No, we don't want you to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe if you feel like it, you know, um, or uh, buy me a coffee if you feel like it. If not, this is for free. Ask a couple of questions. Those of you who know how to work your stream deck and are familiar with this and maybe you didn't think of it or maybe you have your own method in doing it. Um, please feel free to share with somebody um, how to do it or how you may put this together. But I found these buttons where each camera that I have. I can, you know, flip them around on the stream deck right here. Okay. Um, I think I showed everyone the, the live switcher mode, which I actually just went into it now. So notice hands free, I will do talking like this and the cameras are going to switch around and move. So you can still do that in connection with, um, taking and allowing yourself to see the all four cameras at the same time. And so in my case, I would put all seven of my cameras up and if I was doing a production for somebody else, I would be able to see everything sitting out and then um, I would be able to select what I'm selecting. Okay, so I hope this has helped and uh, I'm at the 15 minute mark, so I'm going to cut it short here and I'll go into deeper the details as you ask questions on what you need further insight on what I was doing how I was doing it, um, how I set the stream deck up to do these scenes. One more time for the demo mode so you can see it. Over here, um, I'm going to hit my button. And once I hit my button, I am now in my four camera mode. I'm in my monitor mode, which is similar to an A10 Mini. And I can look at these four cameras. And if I wanted to select my wife's microphone over here, I'm just going to hit that floater over here and once I hit that it's going to now output to the output screen this over here but I'm still able to look at all the other cameras and see what they're seeing and say hey I want to go to that a61 and once I do that I just hit this go to the a61 go back now I get to look at what's happening in the other cameras and now I can go to that jib camera I'm going to hit that button it goes to the jib and goes back over here Simple as that. And you can do all of this in Ecamm. Once again, shout out to Ken and Glenn. Love you guys. And shout out to everyone in the Ecamm community and everyone contributing to such a great community of people that are able to help one another and allow us to get ourselves out. And so I'm working on something and it's going to sound like a video game, but it's Ecamm Live. It's in the stream. <laughs> Don't y'all steal that. I did it first. All right, I'm out.